Hey guys, this is the Blue Wolf again, <clears throat> and I'm sorry if I sound a bit dozy, but um, I'm really sick. And so, welcome to Uber Strike. Um, you might have seen some of my videos about it. I think I uploaded a couple, but you might not know what it is. Um, it's an online deathmatch game where there is so many guns. And, um, so, it's made by Seamune, they made, um, Paintball Paradise, or Paradise Paintball. So what you've got here, you got Play, I'll show it in a second, Shop. Um, I just briefly showed it to you, Options, you can tell what that does. Profile, it's your profile and your records. Um, Inbox, that's your inbox. Uh, your, it's like, you can send, you can message people over this game, which I thought was really cool. Um, I think they might be working on a voice chat, I'm not sure. Um, clans, this is, you can create or join a clan with their permission. This is the clan that, I, that I'm in, the exper Experts of Assassination. Um, Lucky Draws, uh, Lucky Draws, they're, um, well, if you go here, you can buy them, but you get one every day. And it sort of comes with this for a day. And it's not just this gun, the Force Cannon. Uh, depending on what they're having a sale on, they will give it to you for a day if you win it in the Lucky Draw. Also, you win like a thousand points um, in the Lucky Draw. So I thought that was kind of cool. And so you got two types of currency for buying stuff. Oh, and here's your guns. You start off with just the Splat Bat, which is your melee weapon and the uh the machine gun which is your primary weapon but i bought some stuff um this is m this is the gear well you start like without empty gear so 60 armor points carried that means that it's like you have you basically have 60 more health and defense bonus i'm not quite sure what that does but the armor is actually semi cheap for compared to the um some other stuff in this game so these are sort of like what's hot and what's on a sale um, on the, the shop section. Um, weapons, you've got your melee weapons, um, which are, yeah, the melee weapons are sort of odd. So this this is a training room. So the melee weapons are kind of weird. Like if I just go right here, well, that's a terrible example. That's one of the better melee weapons. But um, let's say I use the broadsword. If I'm like right here, Oh gosh, I can't even, yeah, like right here, the sword, it was clearly going through him, but it, like there, it's, it was going through him, but it wasn't really killing him, or attacking him, like right here, and like around here, so what, uh, what's a good tactic for melee weapons, melee weapons is, what you have to do, you sort of have to go into them and then back up, and that works really well, I have no idea why. suck anyway um exit the training room um these are all the melee weapons um by the way if you're sort of wondering about the gold coins and then the little dollar signs i'll explain what those are in a bit you've got your handguns and these two are the most powerful even though they're one of some of the cheapest they're the most powerful handguns um you've got all your handguns there's some that they made like the bio lance for example, that's really quite a fun one. They have like a couple lances in this game. Most of them are sniper rifles, but also this one. Machine guns, you've got machine guns. Um, one I don't really understand. Um, I'm not very smart when it comes to guns, but maybe that's a good thing. Anyway, so you've got the SIG-52 Classic, SIG-552 Classic, which, okay, let's say that you have something like the AK-47. This is a snake edition. Um, if you can fire that around, it's completely automatic. Um, but for some reason, the, the SIG isn't automatic. I think, I'm not really quite sure, uh, that it fires two at once. That's, that's just my theory. Also, it has, like, a scope, so it's a bit more of a, sni a slight sniper rifle than it is an actual, m um, machine gun. Um, if you're looking to buy a good machine gun, I would recommend this, the Sabertooth. 
it is just really quite fun. It's the fastest gun in the game, and yeah, it it's even though it does only ten per bullet, it's really a good gun. It's really nicely made. And um, before you um, start shooting it, it has the rolly thing on the top of it that has to sort of like charge up. Uh, one way that um, is in the game to, um, which is actually quite nice, you can hold down right click and it would just keep it going. But the problem is, I don't know if this is a glitch or not. So let's say when you're, if you're, if you have a sniper rifle, when you're using right click, it would open up the scope and you would move a bit slower. I'm going to say that that's sort of what's going on here, except no scope. So whenever you're just holding your own right click, it just makes it sort of slower. Except for this, which is kind of odd. This is boss 12. It's an automatic shotgun. Recom I recommend that for shotguns. Shotguns, um... Okay, so this boss 12, it's probably the best one. Uh, the Oblivion Hammer, if I recall, is one of the most condensed ones. Like, they don't really spread out in the Jericho. It does tons of damage if you're really close to them. And that's how far it spreads out. So let's say you're right here. That does about 32. But if you're right in front of them and all the bu bullets hit them, 256. I think that that's the most powerful weapon in the game, except for, like, one one melee weapon that's not in anymore, the Uber Hammer. Um, sniper Rifle. Oh, yeah, this game is entirely free, except for some stuff. So, um... Th these are, um, oh, I'll tell you something funny. The Annihilator, which, uh, you actually have a scope when you're not scoping. I don't know what it's called. And, um, right click still zooms in a bunch. And so, what happened was they had a sale on Annihilator, and you, they said they gave it to you for a day, but it was actually permanent. So, basically, everyone who plays Uber Strike now had an Annihilator for, like, about a month, and then they fixed the glitch. And then you've got uh, Particle Lance, um, which it was the first gun to incorporate this scope thing. Um, also, it makes a cool laser, which I like that. Um, so, AWP is the best, um, the best sniper rifle in the game. The highest damage in 135. One thing that I don't really get, you've got the AWP Snake Edition, which is part of a bundle. The um, AWP Black, which is just another thing. And then the normal AWP, which is level required 80, and they don't even have locks on them. So I found that sort of odd and sort of weird. Oops. Um, also, one cool that they were trying to incorporate, but it's not very good. It's, a, it's pretty fun. It's just a fun thing to toy around with. Is the um, G3 Sniper Rifle. Basically what this is... Basically what this is... It's an automatic sniper rifle. S Semi-automatic, I think. I don't even know. So, basically, this is a sniper rifle for people who can't snipe. Um, if, if you're going to use a sniper rifle for if you can't snipe, just go back to playing Modern Warfare 3. Anyway, um, you can already see the comment section. We've got the cannons. The cannons are really fun. That's the thing that they have a sale on. Uh, you've got the Enigma cannon. Um, the EOS, the EOS is really quite fun. The EOS is like just boosh straight away. Um, the Force Cannon Plus is oh, the Force Cannon Plus. Let's say that you're like die, die. One thing that I think that they should have you, I think that you should be able to set the damage of these guys here because it's just sort of. You can hit them with something that did like eight damage from like one one um bullet from the Jericho and they would still die. Anyway, it's the Force Cannon Plus. It's a great weapon. It does a lot of damage. But another fun thing is if you're trying to script stuff, if you're trying to like um make something like make an Uber Strike movie, it's very good because it blows you back really far. So um, if you saw that compilation that me and my brother did, where the we're having another one of those soon, so stay tuned. Um, then you've got just... Uh, the EOS is the most generic cannon in the entire game. Um, and the cannon, which is also the most generic cannon. Ultima cannon is even stronger than the Force cannon. Um, it has a velocity of 100 meters a second. Lo I'm going to try to get through this quickly because I wanted to get to some actual gameplay. 
by the way, those Dragon Edition things that you're seeing on some stuff, those are, like, part of Dragon Edition bundles that you can buy on their website. And I think the most expensive bundle is, like, um, 250 actual dollars. And so these, the Arctic Rifle is the best, um, splatter gun. It was sort of odd. They had the Arctic Rifle, which was the most expensive, Magnum Rifle, which was medium, and the Spider Gun, which, which was the lowest. And for a while, they all had the exact same stats. So, whoever had the Arctic Rifle at that time, I would just, I would just, just, why, people? Why would you get that? It's expensive, anyway. The more, these are the launchers. They had a wrecker on that, something, something hot stuff. Um, sorry. Um, then you got all your armor, and, um, one of them is, I thought was kind of cool, the Opian armor, which is meant to look like, um, the, the, what's his, what's his name, Master, Master Chief. It's meant to look like him, and if you're, this is the Sir Magnus armor. Um, yeah, so the Ophian armor is meant to look like Master Chief. Um, you can buy, like, um, spring grenades. These are, like, sort of grenades, but, but they're not really grenades. They don't, like, explode and hurt people. Like, the health bot, it, um, redoes your health. The armor bot does, redoes your armor. Ammo bot recharges your ammo spring grenades are some of the best ones uh, it's sort of hard to demonstrate here but spring grenades when you step on them they make you go flying really 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 high um those are these are the things that we use to like we plop down on the tree i was supposed to go on it sammy wasn't supposed to he's just being himself um wait wait what the I can- Oh my gosh, this is the- They should make you spawn here if you want to be like a sniper. Because using sniper things are much better practice from here, from a long distance, from right in front of them. Anyway, so, um, functional items, you can change your name. And clan's li clan license, which is what I showed you earlier, like, that's what you buy in order to create a clan. Um, inventory, and now I'm gonna, uh, these are all the things that I've ever bought, uh, a lot of these were, I won, in the lucky drop, so now I'm gonna explain the currency, the currency, this, these points are what you gain from getting a certain amount of kills, so let's say you got 10 kills in a single match, then you would get, a, I think like 100 coins, yeah, 100 coins, um, and these credits on their website, you can buy credits with actual money, and one of the things that makes this game not great, which shouldn't be in here, is, let's say, let's say you wanted to buy, like, the saber tooth permanently, with, um, what's it doing? Okay, let's say you wanted to buy the saber tooth permanently. Um, if I recall correctly, it's about $10 in real life to buy it permanently. Uh, I don't know why I can't go down there. It's just, it's just being itself. Um, and then you've got the cool thing in the background. There used to be a ton of glitches in this game, which are fun to play around with. I'm not going to show all the maps because I really want you guys to go and get this game. So, um, oh yeah, the servers are kind of wonky. So, Broadsword, I'm right, right now I'm in like, West, Eastern America. Eastern USA. And I'm getting a great connection to a server in Brazil. And I always thought that was sort of weird, but it's always really full because America gets great connection to it. Um, my favorite map is Sky Garden, which is uh, you'll recognize it if you saw that other thing that I made. I'm going to show you about one match and then tell you to go play it. Okay, so here, uh, press tab to see everyone else. See, yeah, I'm with the not noobs. And so this is Sky Garden. Um, they recently textured it, which is kind of cool. And, um... So, yeah, this is Sky Garden. Oh, uh, if if you ever meet a player named um, 3D Play, just kill him. Just, I, I, I hate him. When I was using that uh, automatic uh, thing, the Spas 12, um, he told me not to use it. And that sort of kind of a bit...
proves that he is a oh my yeah that sort of proves that he's a noob so i i just don't like him and usually in this game if you want to have friends um what you need to do you need to go to chat and then like find their name die okay you need to go to chat and like find their name um if they're online you can also go to recently games that you were in so let's say i wanted to friend this guy here i can there's a tab in chat that which is like um which is basically um oh god oh dang it so there's a tab in chat which is game and um it's the people that you were just recently playing with so if i wanted to find any of these teammates oh yeah they took away the friendly fire option which was quite fun so now i figured the only way that you can use friendly fire where did he oh it's by throwing spring grenades under people hello how's life very bouncy it doesn't always work it you can only really do it if oh my gosh out screw you he didn't die what's the oh my gosh he's just the worst when you don't die when someone throws grenades under you you're cheating he, they're cheaters um yeah, so I'm going to talk about some history of this game. It was great and not really much of a play-to-win game before this, because everything was, like, cheaper. Um, hold on, let me restock my ammo. Th I, am a, I am a noob. I am going to say that right now. I am a decent noob, but I am still a noob. I am, because I have these spawny things, like the, um... I like my health bots and ammo bots. Um and um oh my gosh. I just got back from playing Fortress Wars uh by um Steven AU, the over engineer guy, you guys probably know him. He um on Minecraft. I just sort of got back from playing that and so the controls are a bit different and I feel like when I press right click it should fire. That's I that's why I'm not doing as well as I normally should. Oh yeah, um, try to, tip on, tip on guns. Um, only buy guns when they're on sale. Crap, 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 yes. Only buy, fuck! Only buy guns when they're on sale, because when they're on sale, you save money. But they sort of, the creators of this game, they kind of trick you, because, okay, they're, like, if you buy, like, credit packs, Let's say that I think like three dollars is like around three thousand. If something costs to buy permanently six thousand five hundred, then um no no oh, he didn't die. He didn't. Oh my gosh! You did you? This guy just ruined my let's play. I am I am just eh. if I'll, fail. Wait. Okay, anyway, so what was I talking about? Oh, uh, blah, 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 boring stuff, boring stuff. Oh, yeah, so $3 buys, um, what the, oh, $3, yeah, best KDR. Oh, so you get this, um, thing, and so $3 buys somewhere around, um, 3,000 credits. But if something costs 6,500, which a lot of stuff do, you still have to pay them ten dollars, which gives you sixty nine hundred. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, you still have to pay um ten dollars, which gives you sixty nine hundred credits in order to buy something that costs less. So what they 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 sort of trap you. They um they tell you you still have to buy something. With, you still have to buy a credit pack of ten dollars in order to get this, and so if they had made it less than like four thousand, then they would have lost money because people would have bought a five dollar credit pack and used it. Um. So yeah, that's that. So here you've got all the people are online. By the way, this game is on mobile. You see this guy when you see an icon with like a phone, that that's mobile pe people. That that guy too. Uh, there's a lot of glitches with the mobile version. That's why I prefer PC. And then you've got game, which um, 
that, that's people that you just recently playing with clan um that's my clan uh these are a bunch of people that i have friended and um i think that is uh about it oh yeah uh i have an announcement um I'm gonna say that I am um, probably um, whenever this video comes up three days after that when I upload another one it's going to be um, maybe Minecraft because Minecraft is fun and so um, yep thanks for watching guys I don't have an outro but I'm just gonna sing it um, doo -doo. Do 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 do